level across the top. So it doesn't seem like that long ago when I was telling you guys that once Tolster got their tooling and everything updated and revamped that they would be pumping out some new holster models. And here we go with two more that I want to share with you guys. The new Glock 19 Gen 5 holster and the CZ P10C holster. Uh, these are two relatively brand new models and uh, we have Tolster holsters for them. Uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot. Thank you guys for watching and uh, joining us. If you're new to concealed carry, you're going to be flooded with a ton of inside the waistband holsters, Kydex holsters. Uh, so you, you're basically going to be looking like, how do I even choose one? I'm going to make a case for Tolster today. Even if you don't choose a Tolster holster, I'm going to give you some things to look for in a good everyday carry type of holster because if your holster or your gun belt is lacking in either way, it's really gonna make you not wanna carry. So uh, we'll go over these holsters. We're coming at this like a brand new review. If you are a follower of the channel, you're probably familiar with Tolster. Uh, maybe you've just been looking forward to one of these two models coming out. Everything is the same. Use the discount code HEG87 and you will still save 15% off of these holsters. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about them. Now, you will notice that something's missing here. We don't have a CZ P10C to show you guys. I still have not been able to find one. I know that they are out there, uh, but if you're lucky enough to have one, Tolster has the holsters for them. I unfortunately do not, but I at least wanted to show these things to you guys. Let's start with the new CZ P10C holster in multicam. Uh, this is a new color option that Tolster is doing, and I think it looks awesome. Uh, looks really old school type of uh, camo design, and I, I think it looks really good. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I cannot show you the fit, the snugness, and all of that uh, with the CZ, but I can uh, pretty much rest assured that it's going to be spot on. These guys do an awesome job on all of their models. I have no doubt about that. Then I have one of the Coyote Brown options for the CZ as well. Uh, one thing that I started doing, I started riding motorcycles again. I, I kind of shared that on my Facebook page and we did a recent video on that. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do is started going with the soft loop option. This is not something I've ever told you guys about before. But basically what you can do is you can order two of these soft loops if that's something you're more comfortable with and run it like that. And that's what I've been doing on the Glock 19 Gen 5. Pull it out of there. And these loops are designed where you don't just pull them straight off. You kind of pull them down at an angle and it will release that snap. I'll try to show you guys uh, me actually taking it off of my belt. All right. And then when you go to snap them back on, you kind of put them on there at an angle like that and they snap right in place. Uh, so a pretty cool design, very secure, and uh, I really like this option a lot. I've never been a huge fan of carrying the Glock 19 as a concealed carry gun. This holster, this setup with my gun belt has allowed me to actually carry a bigger gun, something that I was never a big fan of at all. Uh, this is very comfortable. If you have an existing Tolster, all you have to do is order those loops. I believe the discount code will still work for you on those. Um, and you can actually try these out. Now you do have a little bit of adjustment here in the cant. It's not going to be as much as you do with the clip. And I'll show you that here in a second. Obviously this one's going to be stationary. Uh, it will go up and down a little bit. But once you get it snapped in place on your belt, it's not going to be going anywhere. It'll be nice and secure. And I will show you guys that as well. Now the difference between the Glock 19 Gen 5 and the Gen 4, very minimal. So basically the Gen 5 Glock is a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Also on the left-handed model holsters, they were having an issue with the slide stop actually catching on the inside of the sweat shield. So they did some modifications and now all of the Gen 5 or Gen 4 models will work uh, this one holster will actually fit them all. I'll show you actually what that looks like here. This is a Gen 4 model in the Gen 5 holster. All right, fits snugly into place just like the Gen 5. 
What you're gonna find with holster is as minimal as they come while keeping everything secure, not digging into your side, not digging into your, you know, any part of your skin. They wanna keep everything to a minimum. You'll see a high undercut in the trigger guard. This helps with drawing the gun out of your pants, making sure you have a full grip from the time you put your hand on the grip to pulling it out. That way you can get on target very quickly. You will see that your magazine release is exposed. This is a huge benefit for me because what I will do in the morning is I will go ahead and put the holster on, I'll load around, I'll put the gun back in the holster, I'll release the magazine, pull it out, top it off, and then put the magazine back in there and never not once have I had a magazine release uh, hitting my fatty sides and actually releasing this magazine. Uh, that is pretty much a non-issue. I know a lot of people like this covered. I personally don't. I think this uh, gives you more access, obviously, when you're holstering, re, you know, reloading, topping off your magazine, uh, and it's a non-issue with that. Full sweat shield coming up to the back of the gun and a high sight channel so you can uh, whatever type of sights you can clear them on there you can see that i have the uh, high suppressor height night sights on the glock and there's no issue with getting the gun in there you also have your retention screw right here all right so you can adjust that as you see fit one of the cool things about holster is if you ever wanted to carry appendix but you didn't want to buy an appendix specific holster and spend that kind of money on one you can actually try it with this one holster inside the waistband or appendix just by adjusting this one screw right here so of course it works best with the clip at least what i've found you're gonna undo that just a little bit and what you can do anywhere from zero to 15 degrees you can now adjust that you can see the little bit of gap right there and that's going to give you you just tighten it up and now that little bit of adjustment is going to make, it actually makes quite a bit of difference inside the waistband. And anywhere in that range, you can adjust that and get it right where you need it, uh, depending on where you're carrying and, and what type of gun and all of that kind of stuff. So very cool design there. And that's something that uh, a lot of you guys like as well that you've left us comments on uh, in the past. Now, if you're looking for convenience and you want a good clip, uh, this one right here, it's a one and a half inch clip. It is very secure. You can see how it kind of curls. It will curl up under your belt. And all you have to do is spread that apart just a little bit and slide it down in your pants. And I've never had an issue with these things coming out or anything like that. Just make sure you put that little red Loctite that they give you whenever they send your holster. Just make sure you put that on the screws. Keep that secure and uh, you won't have any problems. Another benefit of this clip is that a lot of uh, inside the waistband holster clips kind of make a little uh, sharp turn up. And I, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but if you're ever doing any kind of drills and you're on your side and you're rolling over, if you're a mechanic, if you're underneath a car and you have your gun on you, whatever the case may be, you don't want to be the on the ground with that thing sticking up because it's very uncomfortable. Uh, it, trust me, I know because I've had holsters with that type of design and, and very uncomfortable. This being flat up top, it actually makes it comfortable if you're ever on the ground in any situation uh, and it's not going to dig into your side. So these clips are great. Like I said, I've been using the clips now for a year and a half, two years. As long as we've been with Holster, I've been using this clips with great success. So I uh, definitely don't want to leave the clip out of this review now that I've gone to the soft loops. Uh, if you want the clip and you want that quick get it on, get it off type of deal, uh, these are going to be fantastic for you. And that's what, these act that's what these holsters actually come with. Now you do have multiple color options available. One of my favorite is the Cryptic Yeti and the Cryptic Typhoon. Uh, those are two I really like. The carbon fiber red options or any of the carbon fiber options look really good. The multi-cam. Now one thing that's nice that they've done is they started going to CNC machining, which is spot on every single time but you still have the hand craftsmanship that they put into these things. So all of the edges are hand buffed and you can see they all have that matte type of finish to them. No sharp edges anywhere in there. That's definitely not something you want uh, for inside the waistband carry. And this end is gonna stay open so that's gonna allow lint to fall through so you don't get a big buildup uh, in there. But all these edges are hand finished and uh, that just adds an extra little uh, nice touch to it. Snug fit. Uh, these things are fantastic. 
uh, they start at 60 bucks. So with your discount, 15% off of 60 bucks, you're gonna save quite a bit of money. And also you guys help support our channel as well. So it is definitely a win-win for both of us. But these things are great. So those are kind of some of the things that you wanna look for in a holster. Now I have experience with quite a few different holsters and uh, ones with a lot of material, ones with double clips, you know, all this kind of, you know, fancy stuff and it looks good. Uh, but I am just not a fan of that. This material doesn't make you sweat. If you're somebody like me that sweats a lot that you don't want uh, suede or any type of material touching your skin. That's something I can't stand. And uh, that's one reason I like this material a lot. Lifetime warranty on this as well. Uh, so those are some of the things that you definitely want to look for. But minimalist design, get to your magazine release, high undercut in the grip. Now we have the loop options. They've had these loops for <laughs> forever, it seems like. And I was asking one of the guys at Tollstar, I was like, hey, you know, what about a double loop option? He was like, we have loops. You know, you want me to send you some? And I said, yeah. So... Uh, that is it on the Tolster holster, the new Gen 5 Glock 19 and the CZ P10C. Uh, I hate that I can't show you guys how that fits, but I can assure you that it's going to fit very well because I know these guys and they do amazing work. So, like I said, if you want to pick one of these up, use the discount code HEG87. Save yourself 15% off of all of the holsters on the website. If you have a Tolster holster, let us know down in the comments below how you like them. We will see you guys in the next one. And as always, hold them down.